Well, good day, everyone, and thank you so much for joining this very, very important uh, meeting on such a vital topic for the well-being of our country. I'm Terry Fulmer. I'm president of the John A. Hartford Foundation and a nurse, and also very pleased to have been on the planning committee with Richard. So we started this morning with uh, such strong content from our keynote speakers, Dr. Rubin and Dr. Shashami, were just uh, really remarkable in framing for us the very high-level picture that we now have to uh, continue to think about very specifically. And I want to add my appreciation to the National Institute on Aging and the National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine staff for making this meeting possible. Um, I'm going to introduce the speakers before we start, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of them, and then uh, we'll begin today with uh, Dr. Farrell. So Betty Farrell is our first speaker on this, this little topic called defining quality. That's our task. We've got it. We're going to define quality. Betty Farrell is uh, the director of the Nursing Research and Education and professor at the City of Hope Medical Center in California. She's a fellow of the American Academy of Nursing, and she's had, she has over 480 publications in peer-reviewed journals and text. She is the um, principal investigator for End-of-Life Nursing Education Consortium, ELNIC. Welcome to Betty. She'll be followed by Dr. Eric Schneider, and Dr. Schneider leads NCQA's Measurement Research and Contracting Agenda as Executive Vice President of the Quality Measure and Research Group. In this role, he helps drive NCQA's efforts to create a more equitable healthcare system and to advance the move to digital quality measurement. Dr. Schneider came to the NCQA from the Commonwealth Fund, where he was the Senior Vice President for Policy and Research and a member of its executive management team. Welcome, Eric. Following and concluding our panel, we will hear from Dr. Lisa Gwenther, Lisa, I just made you a doctor. Ms. Gwenther is a clinical social worker with 42 years of experience working with older adults and dementia-specific services. She's an associate professor emerita at the Duke School of Medicine's Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences and a senior fellow at Duke University Center for Aging. Welcome to Lisa today. So as we get underway today, I invite Dr. Farrell right after I just frame for a minute this session. Next slide, please. I want to comment on some of the things that the John A. Hartford Foundation has done in order to improve dementia care. And you, we've heard earlier from David and others the way in which foundations can play a role in helping accelerate the work we do at the National Academies, the National Institute on Aging, the CDC. We're advancing age-friendly health systems, spreading evidence-based care via a 4Ms framework of what matters, mentation, medication, mobility. We're in 2,900 settings of care and looking very hard at the mentation piece when we think about people who are, are in one of the three stages of Alzheimer's. We have a geriatric ED accreditation in ED Collaborative, which is improving emergency care for older adults with dementia. Our geriatric surgical verification program ensures high-quality surgical care for older adults through new standards, including cognitive screening. The NASM Improving Nursing Home Quality Report came out April 6, and it examines how our nation delivers, regulates, and finances and measures the quality and safety in nursing homes where half of our dementia uh, individuals live. The UCLA Alzheimer's and Dementia Care Program David spoke about so elegantly and our best practice caregiving, which creates free online resources to organizations and consumers to select evidence-based programs that support family caregivers as they are living with people with dementia. And finally, the Milken Institute Alliance to Improve Dementia Care is an extraordinary powerhouse where they are improving dementia care with action-oriented reports and promoting new policies for workforce health systems, reducing disparities, and advancing coordinated care payment and care momentum. Why do I mention these? It's because we are in a moment where we need a confluence of cooperation. We've already heard about the complexity of the issue. We all have to keep one another apprised of what we're doing so that we can get the best from each of us. Next slide. Thank you. And let me now turn it over to our first speaker. Welcome, Dr. Farrell.